It's Saturday today, the 16th of December, 2017, and what you're looking at here is the Captain's Flat radar in New South Wales, showing where storms and showers, rain, precipitation is on this rather warm December day. And what's interesting, if I zoom in a bit, so come down to the 128 kilometer radar, you'll see that there's a there's been some storms here between near where I live up here and the south coast. And if you look more closely again, I'll come right into the 64 kilometer. If you look closely, you can see that Badala has been in heavy rain for every single frame on this radar and for some time before that and possibly for some time to come depending on what this does so it's quite a wet afternoon in Badala on the south coast of New South Wales despite the fact that it is a pretty dry old day for New South Wales and even nationally if I click on the national radar loop you can see there really isn't too much activity down here close to where Badala is but yeah they're just in the right spot so that's Saturday 16th of December 2017 and we're not too far off the date that I've been talking about which is the 22nd Friday the 22nd of December so it's less than a week away now six days till Ebony Simpson's birthday it will be her 35th birthday and I think something's going to happen that day, something big with the weather. Uh, my first thought is Mount Agung in Indonesia, in Bali. My second thought would be there's a possible typhoon heading towards, could potentially head towards the Philippines. And I, there's just an article on that. There's also the fires in California which are continuing to to burn and the Philippines are bracing for torrential rain from Kai Tak which is a tropical storm and there could be another a typhoon behind this one remains to be seen so we've got the Thomas fire in California so could it be something with the fires could it be fires in Australia Australia's got some hot weather and some serious fire weather coming over the coming days as well. Or could it be Mount Agung in Bali? Remains to be seen. But there's the system that is going to come in behind Mount, uh, not behind Mount Agung, <laughs> behind Kai Tak. And Kai Tak's a very slow moving system that's going to bring a lot of rain to the Philippines and cause flooding. Some areas could pick up feet of rain just from this system. They're not sure if this one's going to go across the Philippines or well east of the Philippines. It remains to be seen yet. So tremendous heavy rain. Um, Kaitak has already led to impressive rainfall totals like 27 inches. And as it says here, not sure, not sure what it's doing, what its future movement will be. But it could potentially cross the Philippines in six to eight days. Well, if it does in six days, that could be the event, or, or one of the events, perhaps, on Friday the 22nd of December 2017. Uh, I've got the time 9.45pm Australian Eastern Time in, in mind, which points to something like a landfalling storm or a volcanic eruption. Of course, Mount Agung has been erupting in the Philippines. So we've got fires in California. We've got typhoon forming in the West Pacific, which could head towards the Philippines. There's fires burning in California. There could be fire weather in Australia. Uh, the one after Kai Tech, I think, if there is, if I think this typhoon will be called Tambin. T 
Typhoon Tembin, if I'm reading that correctly. And yeah, in Australia it's definitely getting hot and nasty if like they've even got a severe weather fire update on here. Today is the 16th of December. It's currently 31 degrees in Canberra. Uh, what else? Canberra's the hottest, apart from Darwin. Don't see that too often. But it is right now, and not really getting So it's 33 today, 31 tomorrow, not too bad tomorrow. Then 35, then 38. That is hot for Canberra on Tuesday the 19th of December. Then cooling off a bit again. And that's the date I'm interested in. It's Friday, 22nd of December, 2017. What's going to happen? 13 and 31, there's some reflective numbers. Jake equals 27. Jacob equals 31. I was 13 in 1989. So there's a lot of symbolism starting to pick up here. Nathan Breeze was 13. And Nathan, of course, died in a bushfire. So yeah, okay, let's see what happens. Where are we at now? It's 3.52 p.m. Saturday, December 16, 2017. And the 22nd is 16 days after Wednesday, December 6, which was the other date I was interested in. And that was when the first houses burned down in California from the Thomas fire and other fires, which started on the 4th. 